What's going on guys? Today I thought I'd talk about one of my favorite cameras and it's the Polaroid S670. Uh, this camera is something I've been very passionate about and very obsessed. I think obsessed is the right word to use. Over the last two, three years, I've learned everything there is to know about this camera. I've learned how it operates. I can't repair one from scratch, obviously. I haven't learned that much, but I obsessed over its history, I obsessed over uh, different models that they have, um, over Edwin Land and his whole legacy. Edwin Land, by the way, is this uh, creator of Instant Film and the Polaroid Company. Um, this is one of his greatest creations, and it is one of my favorite, all-time favorite cameras. It is such an amazing camera to use. It's uh, very simple. It is it's, a, it's a collapsible SLR camera, instant film camera. It shoots out a Polaroid, you know, an actual Polaroid, not an Instax, not an Instax wide. When, I, when people speak about Polaroids, a lot of people think an Instax is a Polaroid. No, it shoots an actual Polaroid. Um, unfortunately, the Polaroid company at some point, they stopped making film, uh, so another company named The Impossible Project took over and started producing film for all the old cameras, including this one. Um, and funny enough, The Impossible Project is now Polaroid Originals. Based so yet, yeah, you can get film for this camera through Polaroid Originals. Uh, it takes SX-70 film, but you can have this camera modified to shoot 600 film. Um, through Second Shot SX-70 service. I will put his information and website in the description in case you want to check him out. Uh, I highly recommend it. This specific camera is not modified to take 600 film because I recently just got this from like a flea market garage sale. This one is, this is a fully refurbished SX-70 Model 1. Uh, this takes 600 film natively which for those who know how um, ISO works or ASA, um, it basically means this is a camera that is be is better suited for low light situations. Not incredibly low light situations, but uh, you could be under shade, you could be indoors and you could shoot with this and get away with it. What else can I say about this camera? There is so much to say, um, but so little time. Like I'm not gonna make a full one hour review on this camera. So I'll try to get to some of the key basics. There's a few different types of these cameras. This is the Alpha One, this is the Model One. This is basically the first uh, model they released of the SX-70. It's very basic. It does not have anywhere where you could put a camera strap. There's no lugs back here. There's no tripod mount thingy in the bottom. Uh, this is the Alpha One, this is the model they released after this. Uh, we're supposed to have some upgrades in it. I'm um, not sure exactly what they are. I, I know the, um, the electronics inside are different. They're supposed to be better. It has a tripod mount at the bottom. It has somewhere you could put a camera strap. Uh, and overall, they're both great cameras, you know. I'd recommend going with whichever one you can get. And then there's also the the sonar, the SX-70 sonar, these are actually more out there on the market. For some reason, they're not that sought after. I seem to find these a lot for lower prices. I got this specific one in working order for 40 bucks. Um, you could probably pay around, nowadays between 80 to 80 and up. If you're gonna get a fully refurbished one, you'll probably pay over 200. If you're gonna test your luck on eBay and get one that's untested, you're probably gonna pay like 60, 80 bucks. So this is basically similar to the Alpha One. Uh, it has the ability to mount it on a tripod. You can also put a camera strap in the back. Uh, the main difference is this is autofocus. Uh, this doesn't have a split prism uh, assist inside. This one does and uh, obviously a size difference. So um, consider that if you're looking to get a SX-70, consider there's a size difference. And uh, I'll show you the size difference. 
as you can see. It's about an inch and a half, give or take. I personally prefer uh, this model. So let's talk about accessories for this camera. The Polaroid camera takes a few accessories. I do not own all of them, but I will talk about the ones that I do own. The first is the lens hood. Lens hood, lens shade. Uh, so in order to prevent flares, this was an attachment people used back in the day. I still use it every now and then, depending on uh, the lighting situation. It also has um, an attachment holder in case you want to put filters or a close-up lens. You just basically slide it down there and use it like that. Uh, second attachment I want to talk about is the telephoto lens. I did a complete review on this. Uh, I'll put it down in the description in case you guys want to see it. Uh, it basically magnifies the lens, the lens uh, 1.5 times. Uh, it allows you to have more of a telephoto view. There's also this attachment, which is a shutter release cable. Uh, this is great if you're mounting it on a tripod and you're, uh, you know, you're taking either like a landscape and you don't want to touch the camera because you don't want to introduce any camera shake. Uh, you could use this for it. Another attachment similar to that is the self timer. This is if you're uh, into taking self portraits or, um, you know, you want to take a family photo. You just wind it, you attach it here, and you press that button, and then it goes for, I think, about eight seconds, maybe 10 seconds, and then it clicks the button, and it takes the picture. It's a great little accessory. Uh, and then now let's get into the flash. Uh, back in the day, this was the flash that was used. This is a general electric flash bar um, these normally had 10 bulbs which would explode uh, when the flash was used and they were you can't reuse them once they blew up uh, so this is the old school one you would get 10 flashes per bar and at that time you would get 10 shots per uh, film pack Nowadays, the film packs only hold eight shots because the film is a bit thicker and I guess they can't fit uh, eight shots like they used to. Uh, the more modern flash now is the Mint 2 bar. This is made by Mint Camera. I have a full review on this as well. I'll put it in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Uh, this is fully battery operated, it takes two AAA batteries. The cool thing about this is if your camera is not modified, you could use this to shoot 600 film and SX-70 film uh, in any SX-70 camera. Uh, there's an option there in the back and I have a full review on it in case you guys are interested in getting one of these. Uh, definitely check it out. Love this flash. Um, I use it all the time. All right, now let me get more into uh, why I love this camera so much. Um, this camera is great because it's very simplistic. It's very small, it collapses nice and small. You could put this in a bag. You could even put it inside of a jacket pocket, jeans jacket pocket, in the back of your pants pocket, even though I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, you could just hold it like this. It's not, it's not a real, it's not really uncomfortable. Ergonomically, it's very nice to hold, especially with the leather. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually um, genuine leather, but whatever it is, it's nice. Um, the pictures it produces are amazing. The aperture on this is to f8 aperture, and it allows you to focus up to 10 inches, which is amazing for portraiture. And that's pretty much what I use this for, is for portraits, uh, specifically natural light portraits. I love the way this camera renders. 
um, portraiture because it has sort of a Polaroid soft vintage look. Uh, with cameras nowadays, specifically digital cameras, you shoot and you get a really nice, um, you get a sharp image, right? But sometimes for portraiture, it's nice to not always have the sharpest picture and to have everything in, in like detailed focus, uh, which is why I love this camera. When you take a shot, even when it's in focus, even when it's tack focus, there's this beautiful film softness that goes throughout the image. Uh, uh, the blurred out parts, the bokeh is very nice. It's really nice. Um, those are my thoughts. Um, again, this is my favorite camera. Uh, I love using it. I've put tons of money into shooting film on this camera. I've shot so many images on it amazing pictures um, and I'm very happy that Polaroid Originals is still producing film for it uh, which in turn is going to keep me happy and keep me um, shooting my favorite camera. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask me. If there's anything I missed let me know. Um, I'm happy to help and uh, have a good day. If you'd like to see more of my work, please be sure to check out my Instagram, which is jbordier. Thank you.